This is the first video on exponents. Please make sure that you have your video notes. If you don't have your notes, then you need to take notes in your journal. Pause the video when necessary so that you can stay caught up. Okay, let's find the prime factorization of 32. This is something that we've already done. We can use the factor tree to find this. Uh, 32, I know I can multiply four times eight Remember, you choose any two factors that will multiply together to give you 32. Neither one are prime, so I'm going to have to factor each. Four factors into 2 times 2. Remember, once we have the prime numbers, we circle them. Let's work on the 8 branch. I can do 2 times 4. 2 is prime. 4 is not. So I factor the, two, factor the 4, and I get 2 times 2, which they, these are both prime. So the prime factorization listed uh, from least to greatest would be, they're all twos, and there are five twos. So the prime factorization would be two times two times two times two times two. So this is the prime factorization for 32. But there's actually a shorter way to writing the prime factorization. And this is called using exponents. Remember when we had repeated addition, if we had 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, instead of writing this all out, we could say, okay, there are four groups of 5, so we could say 4 times 5, or 5 times 4. Well, this is the same thing. There's a shorter way of writing repeated multiplication, and that's using powers. So a number that is formed by repeated multiplication, repeated multiplication of the same factor is called a power. We can use an exponent and a base to write a power. So our repeated multiplication was 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. The number that we're repeating, the 2, this is called our base. So the base is the number that is used as a factor. Remember, factors are numbers that you multiply together. What are we multiplying together here? Twos. So two is our base. Okay, the exponent is the five. The exponent indicates how many times the base is used as a factor. How many times did we multiply two together? We multiply two together five times. Five is the exponent. So the number that is a factor, the number that's being repeated, which in this case is the two, is called the base. It's the larger number. How many times it's being repeated, which is one, two, three, four, five times, this is your exponent. And we write the exponent, it's gonna be smaller than the base, and it's gonna be raised, and always to the right. We're not gonna write it like this, because that's 25. We're not gonna write it like this. That's a subscript, we don't do that. We're not gonna write it like this in front of the two. It always goes to the right. So it's raised and to the right of the base. Numbers expressed using exponents are called powers. And there's a certain way that you say these powers. So if you have this, a base of two with the exponent of five, like we just had, the words would be, oops, 2 to the fifth power. 2 is the base. What power are we raising it to? We're raising it to the fifth power. So you would say 2 to the fifth power. And what does this mean? This means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. We can factor it out. This is actually called expanding it. Kind of like blowing up a balloon, you expand it and write it the long ways. Okay, this right here, 3 is the base. The power is 2 we would say three to the second power or three squared. This is the mathematician way of saying it, three squared. Remember when we we're finding area and you would multiply like the area of a rectangle if this is three centimeters and this was two centimeters, you would multiply them together and get six centimeters and then you would say squared. Okay, that's where it comes from. It's two dimensions, it's two dimensional. 3 squared. And what does this look like? It looks like 3, the base, being repeated two times. And the operation is multiplication. Okay, this one right here, we would say this as 10 to the third power or 
the mathematician way would be to say it is 10 cubed. Cubed is three-dimensional, uh, like a cube, or when you're finding volume, where you're multiplying three dimensions together. And this would look like 10 times 10 times 10. 10, the big number is the base. This is your factor that's being repeated, so we're repeating the 10. How many times are we repeating it? The exponent tells you how many times. We want to repeat the 10 three times. So 10, 10, 10, and then the operation is multiplication. So we're going to write each expression in exponential form or as a power. Okay, so what number is being repeated? The 3 is being repeated. So that is our base. That's the big number. How many times is it being repeated? Well, 1, 2, 3, 4 times. This is your exponent. And the exponent is raised and it's to the right of the 3 and it's smaller. It's not the same size as the 3, it's the smaller. And we would say this is 3 to the 4th power. And we are correct. Okay, we can also write fractions with exponents. What's being repeated? The 1 fourth. How many times is it being repeated? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. So the power, the exponent, would be 5. Now, this is a little bit different because when I put it up here, it looks like it's 1 to the 5th power. But we want the whole fraction because the whole fraction is what's being repeated. So, special case, we have to put it inside the parentheses. And then the exponent goes on the outside. So this would be 1 fourth to the 5th power. And it looks like that. Okay, let's try the next one. What is being repeated? 8 tenths. How many times is it being repeated? 1, 2, 3. So the base is the 8 tenths. This is your base. And the number of times that it's being repeated is your exponent. So this would be 8 tenths to the third power. And now we have 20. Hmm. How many times is 20 being repeated? It's there one time, right? Well, that's your exponent. This is 20 to the first power. We don't go around writing an exponent of 1. Just know, though, that any whole number the exponent or the power is really the first power. It's the invisible first power. Okay, what is being repeated? The 1. How many times is it being repeated? Once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven times. So this would be 1 to the 7th power. Here we have a 2. How many times is it being repeated? 1, 2, 3, oh, and then we change numbers, don't we? Okay, so the 2 is being repeated 3 times, so this is 2 cubed, 2 to the 3rd power. And then we have 3, and it's being repeated 3 times as well. So times 3 to the 3rd power. So 2 cubed times 3 cubed. There we go. And then our last example, again, we have two different numbers, so we take each number individually. We start with the 5. The 5 is being repeated 3 times, so it's a base of 5, the exponent is a 3, and we're going to multiply that by 9, and how many times is 9 being repeated? 4 times. 5 cubed, or 5 to the 3rd power, times 9 to the 4th power. And now you're ready for your independent practice.